Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. It's that time again. It's time for me to react to your pedal boards. Let's get it. I gotta say, we're not even like halfway through the submissions and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to some of these. I try to film these things as often as I possibly can in between some of the reviews that I have obligations to do, but man, I'm super excited to finally get to review some of your boards. Don't forget, if you wanna be featured in one of these episodes, you can email me your pedal board at jcruiseproject at gmail.com. You can also direct message me on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram. I'm even on TikTok and Vero, so feel free to hit me up there. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. This first submission comes from Martin. Martin's emailed me what appears to be a pedal train style pedal board, but it looks a little bit different. Clearly, Martin loves Boss pedals because he has a great collection of them. We've got a Joyo power supply sitting on top of the pedal board. That's, that's really cool. A digital sampler, a super chorus, a phaser. There are a couple of unfamiliar pedals in the middle section there. Uh, the boost ensemble and the vibe wave. Definitely let us know more about those pedals in the comment section below. You also have a dynamic filter by Boss, a fuzz, a super feedback distortion, a turbo overdrive, an Ibanez volume pedal, a compressor by Boss, um, two compressors actually. Actually. And then of course you have the TU3 Waza Chromatic Tuner. Look, this pedal board may not be saturated with some of the more modern day sought after pedals, but the fact that it's featuring Boss pedals is a win in my opinion. If it wasn't for Boss, I don't know that we would have all of the modern day pedals that exist right now. They did it first and some would argue they still hold the crown as doing it the very best. So great pedal board, Martin, thanks for submitting. This next submission was also an email, but it's actually for a bass player by the name of James. He plays bass for Roadside Roses, shout out to them. You have a very small pedal board, very well put together here. You have a, I'm not gonna say the first word cause I don't want any issues on YouTube here, but you have a C blocker, how about that, huh? You have a really interesting looking compressor pedal that I need to know more about. I don't, I'm not familiar with the company that seems to make this, so give us a little bit of more information on that pedal. A Microtubes B7K analog bass preamp. I'm really digging that, and it looks like there's a lot of use of that. I really appreciate it. A cool fuzz, you must get some really interesting tones out of that, and a Mark Bass Super Booster, which is really, really cool. And of course, what looks to be like a Sennheiser tuner pedal, maybe? Maybe a tuner and wireless in one, not 100% sure, but this is a killer pedal board, and I love that it's from a bass player. It's not your traditional guitar pedal board, so this just goes to show you, you don't have to be a guitarist to submit your pedal board. Thank you. This next submission came via Instagram by Lucas. Lucas simply submitted a picture of his pedal board and a one sentence that says, hey man, please react to my pedal board. <laughs> so Lucas, here you go. I'm reacting. You have a very interesting pedal board here because there are one, maybe even two pedals on here that I don't recognize very much. So obviously you have the Line 6 wireless unit. That next pedal, that yellow and orange one, I have no idea what that is. You definitely have to let us know in the comment section what it is and who makes it. You have a old school Polytune, a com a Eagle Compressor by Wampler. I love that you have that Source Audio Nemesis delay. That's one of those delays that I still to this day wish I owned. I always wanted to get my hands on that one to see what it sounded like. The Archer, arguably one of the better clone clones that exist out there. The MXR Phase 90, a classic, a Lester K. I used to use a Mel 9 for, for violin ambient stuff, so I'm interested in how you're using the Lester K. You have a noise killer on there, maybe it's for some noise gating, a chorus ensemble, and then you have a pretty large loop switcher here by Electro Harmonics, and I have to admit to you, I didn't know that this even existed, this super switcher by Electro Harmonics. I, it's the first time I've ever seen one. The Electro Harmonics stuff has always had a special place in my heart because they're a New York based company. I think they're based out in Queens and I don't know, it just feels like a local company for me. I'm a New Yorker, they're New Yorkers. Yeah, always love to support it. So thanks again for the submission. Great pedal board, Lucas. This next submission came via email from Ming. Ming sent over a immaculate pedal board. Everything is sitting on a temple board. You have a Benson preamp, a blues driver, a Polytune Mini, a Keeley compressor, a Protein. A Protein, clearly you win, right? Uh, EP Booster, uh, I think that's pronounced Sentry uh, from the TS Electronics. I actually don't know what that is, so let me know in the comments section what that pedal is and what you use it for. Uh, Strymon Iridium, I won't hold it against you. I'm an HX Stomp user, but that's fine. You're welcome You're welcome here anytime you, you, know, you wanna come by. 
Uh, a chorus by Boss Waza. Um, the Boss DE500. Love still seeing those on pedal boards. And of course, who could live without a Strymon Big Sky? Amazing pedal board. I know you're getting killer tones from this. Thank you so much for submitting, Ming. Well, everyone, I guess that wraps up this episode of me reacting to your pedal boards. Nope. Of course, I'm not going to leave out the only person who has made it in every single episode of me reacting to your pedal boards, and that is the great and mighty Sir Aaron Sanchez. Aaron actually messaged me this picture just a few days ago as of the recording of this particular video, so I think think probably not i think i have the latest version of his pedal board and in previous versions in the last couple of episodes we only saw minor changes so i thought it's going to be the same just little changes here or there no not this time some pretty decent changes on the pedal board for aaron so let's check it out of course we have the polytune mini a tone press love seeing those on pedal boards you still have a timeline and a big sky can't leave home without that i love your drive section right now the green amps light speed has always been a, a personal favorite of mine however i've never heard of the super cobra and it's a cool it's a cool title for sure and i definitely know that greer amps always makes amazing products so i'm very interested in hearing what that sounds like want to know more of your thoughts on that that clon is still there you have your volume pedal and of course welcome back don't call it a comeback sir aaron sanchez is now using once again a line six hx stop welcome back you are welcome at the next barbecue for sure well, everyone, that wraps up this episode of me reacting to your pedal boards. I want to thank you all for your submissions. I especially want to thank Aaron Sanchez for always providing content for this particular series. Truly appreciate you, brother. Don't forget, you can still email me your submission. All of my information can be found on my website at jcruiseproject.org. Please don't forget to do all of the things that help the channel grow. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you get alert every single time I upload a video. Feel free to check out some of the affiliate links that I have in the description box below as they do contribute to the channel financially just a little bit. You can also directly donate to the channel by clicking on the thanks feature that YouTube now includes in all of my videos. Thanks again for watching and until next week.